And I, there, but there, there are also reasons though, just to keep in mind that it shouldn't be crazy about an idea of Trey Lyles starting and then actually being beneficial to the team. And let me explain why. Not necessarily saying this is how it's going to go or this is how it should go, but there's an argument to it. First of all, Keegan Murray in the second unit, that's a lethal second unit. And Keegan Murray would still probably close games. He would be a focal point in the fourth quarter. Um, He'd be in there, you know, almost every night. Did we talk about Davion Mitchell being in the closing lineup? He would be in the closing lineup often, but Murray would be in the closing lineup regardless if they're up, down, close, whatever. You know, I feel like, I just feel like he's just, he does everything. He plugs into whatever position you need him to play, whether it's more out on the wing or more as a four. He's, he's got it going, and we talked about all the things he can do offensively. Um, and we saw that with that second unit in the first preseason game, and I get it's just one preseason game, but in Los Angeles, that would be killer. But more importantly, think about Trey Lyles. Trey Lyles came to this team last season, and he became an instant factor when he was a starter. And he, I don't know that he closed a lot of games, and I feel like he didn't play like a ton of minutes. But he was a starter. He was a steady presence, and he was productive, very good on the glass, kind of as always, but as a shooter too. And one of the things that's really important to note about Trey Lyles is that he, I think he's played a little over 120 games as a starter in his career, and he's played somewhere around 350 games as a three hundred. It's 126 games as a starter, 323 games as a reserve, as a starter. His field goal percentage is 45.9%, three points, 38.6%, free throw percentage is 76.7. Those all drop when he's in a reserve role. And he's in a reserve role more often. Yeah, 43% from the field, 31.8 from three, 72.7 from the free throw line. Um, obviously, his rebound numbers are the same. They're a little higher as a starter because you're getting a little bit more minutes. But, you know... Uh, there it's it's six total rebounds a game as a starter as opposed to 3.7 as a reserve. Again, that is kind of in relation to the minutes, but there's a drop off in numbers there. Trey Lyles is historically a better player when he's a starter, and we saw that last season. And in the game against Portland, who started the second half? Because Akpala was really bad. You're right. We'll get to him, and I'll get to him in a second. But Trey Lyles started the second uh, half. And Trey Lyles was not good in the first half. And he was not really a factor at all in Los Angeles. Again, in that reserve role. And he comes out starting with the starters. And he was pretty good. He hit, a, he, hit, he hit two threes. He was solid. He was active on the glass. As he's always going to be. He's really one of the best offensive rebounders on this team. Um, I know that the two offensive rebounds he got on Sunday night were on the same play. Tip and miss, tip and... But, um, you know, it's very clear that it seems like he seems settled in. He, he, he might be more comfortable with the starters. I'm willing to admit that maybe he just needs to get comfortable with the second unit more. And he could easily be doing the same stuff. Um, that could easily be the case. But right now, it seems like he's almost better suited for the starting lineup. Or at least there's an argument there is what I'm saying. And it's just throwing it out there. I still think, in my opinion, <laughs> I still think, Keegan Murray's got to start. I do kind of think that Lyles, if he's gonna, if he sucks as a reserve, it's not gonna be forever. He'll figure it out. It took him a second to find a place on this team, um, just kind of getting thrown into it. I'm sure he can figure it out finding another way. He's a veteran. He's a smart player, and he's another one that doesn't try to do too much or anything like that. So he's gonna just fill in, and uh, but can't rule it out. And it'd be interesting to see who starts on Wednesday against uh, the Suns. Um, cause I wouldn't be surprised if Lyles is starting that game cause it kind of plays into that Murray has to earn it. But I mean, that's, I would throw that out there about Lyles. I don't know if you want to add anything on Lyles before I go on to some of these other guys. No, I mean, that's a really good point. I mean, Lyles plays better as a starter. Um, you know, there's proof of that to me, it's just not enough of a factor to start him over Murray. I think Lyles would be fine off the bench still. And yeah, you know, like Murray, leading that second unit would be awesome. And that second unit would be crazy if Murray was on it with Mitchell, Monk, Murray, and Holmes. That's like, it's like the Kings starting lineup last year, almost, <laughs> you know, when it seems like one of their better lineups in recent years. Um, yeah. 
obviously because they've been so bad. But uh, if you want to maximize Murray's potential and you want to even maximize the bonuses and Fox's potential, I think having Murray out there with them as much as they can. And of course, like he'll be in the closing lineups, if anything, if he doesn't start. But I think if you start off with those three right there, I think it just it just maximizes all three of their potential. They have that guy who can they can kick it to you in the corner. Um so he can, you know, get those shots off and he has a couple of good passers around him who can get him the ball. So that's why I think Murray starts still. I, I can see your point with Lyles and Murray off the bench, but I just I don't think it's as important as Murray starting and how good of a starting lineup it can be this year, really. Yeah, no, I agree. I totally agree. I just do think I I, I think Murray will be the starter probably all year. Um, barring a setback or anything like that. But um, I do still think that I'll, you'll probably see Lyle start in Phoenix, or at least I wouldn't be surprised. Because it seems like that would fit right in with the thing he's doing. You know, I mean, also, I, it's probably still more likely that Akpala starts at the four. Because I feel like he just wants to see and try to get something out of Akpala. 